Welcome to Top 5, I'm your host Ayaz Akhtar. Samsung is gearing up for an event on August 13th in New York City where it's widely expected that the next Galaxy Note will make its debut. There are lots of rumors about what to expect, but I had a talk with CNET's own phone guru, Jessica Dulcourt, and we came up with the top five features we want to see in the next Galaxy Note. Let's count it down. At number five, a more high-end feel. The Note is a great device, but it's outclassed by a number of phones, including the LG G4, the HTC One, and it pales in comparison to Samsung's own Galaxy S6. The Note 4 had a leather-like thing going on the back, which we liked. But Samsung, we know you can do better, and we want to see it on the Note 5. At number four is a removable battery and micro SD card slot. I'm putting these two features together because they both made their exit on the Samsung Galaxy S6 with its sealed up back. The Note 4 has a removable back and we want that to stay on the Note 5 so we can swap out batteries and have easy access to a micro SD card slot. Expandable storage is such a great feature on many Android phones and we want it to stay on the Note. If for some reason Samsung must seal up the back, put in a door or something so we can add gigabytes of space to the Note please. And number three is an improved fingerprint sensor. Right now it's hard to beat Apple's Touch ID fingerprint sensor, but we want to see the Note be as good as Touch ID, if not better. Between phone payment systems like Samsung Pay or Android Pay and overall security, a great fingerprint sensor is really important. Otherwise, it's a convenient feature that becomes downright annoying because it's inconsistent. Oh, that's right. Wait a minute. Samsung already has a very good sensor in the S6. Put something like that in the Note 5. At number two, an improved screen. Right now the Note has a great screen, but there are two reasons why a higher res screen is important. One, the Note handles multitasking, and the higher the resolution, the easier it is to read text and make out objects on a smaller part of the display. Two, Samsung's push into virtual reality demands a ridiculously high resolution display. When your eyes are right up against the screen, seeing the space between pixels takes you a tiny bit out of the experience. By the way, we're not too keen on the idea of increasing the screen size from 5.7 inches unless it doesn't make the phone itself larger. Before we get to number one, I asked you guys on Twitter what features you want to see in the next note. Here's what you had to say. Nick says he wants to see wireless charging, less touch whiz, and a better front-facing camera. Number one LA Kings Angels fan said he wanted to see a camera that focuses quickly. Joe also wants to see wireless charging. Those are great ideas. Thanks for chiming in. At number one, we want the Galaxy Note to stay ahead of the Galaxy S line. Since the Note's introduction, it's always been ahead on features compared to the S. The Galaxy S might be Samsung's flagship, but the Note is where we saw the ridiculously cool, if not slightly unnecessary, edge first. The Note 5 should have awesome specs that are a step ahead of the S6, like maybe four gigabytes of RAM and Type-C USB. Flat out, the Note 5 should be better than the S6. Maybe we didn't dream big enough. Maybe the Note 5 should like roll up into a scroll or become transparent like in all those futuristic movies. Let me know what you think in the comments or on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. For more top fives like this, visit top5.cnet.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.